okay um i'll come i'll come to these areas after discussing the objects uh suppose if i want to create a new object like this i'll go to plus icon i'll click on that now it is asking uh, the display label name uh, i'll enter ticket ticket as a uh, object name and then plural name can be tickets and record name will be uh, ticket name or uh, i i will enter ticket number as a record name so yeah uh, my record name is ticket number and i want i don't want to enter ticket number uh, so i'll generate automatically so what i'll do so we we can give some some kind of a format here something like um uh ticket or ticket number uh, then if i enter some zeros here so the first ticket will start with uh, 0 0 tn uh, so it will start like this tn then hyphen then 0 0 how many zeros i'll enter that is zeros and the last digit will change here it will increase like this 0 0 0 1 will be the first ticket number and then uh, it will start with 0, 0, 002 so like this the sequence will go on for each and every record we i uh, we create we can give some description then i'll create okay to proceed for creating my custom object So it might take few seconds because uh, uh, so by default uh, it should after creating or during creating object it should create a uh, few uh, few standard fields uh, and then uh, in the back end it may need to set the tables so everything it might take some time so we should wait uh, uh, to complete this setup. So like this, uh, like for standard objects, uh, we can change the uh, name of a standard object, like in place of a account, we can put something like organization. So, uh, and then we can create uh, additional fields. Um, But once we create field and then if we publish the sandbox, we can't uh, delete that sand delete that field. So if we create some field in the sandbox and then that time within that sandbox before publishing, we can delete that field. But after publishing field into mainline, we can't delete. We can repurpose that, but we can't delete uh, that field. So any questions here?
uh, it seems it is taking um, few seconds uh, sometime and then I mean that we can if we have any doubt we can get clarified no no question okay. no from my side also. okay Yeah. So uh, once object is created, uh, it will display the overview page. So where we can um, um, we can see the the information just now be just be entered. Um, if we want to see the what all the fields available in that in that custom object, we can go to the object. Object name is uh, ticket. Yeah, ticket. Um, if we go to fields, we'll see the uh, what fields created after after just we submit uh, or after we just create an object. So under custom object, the system will create uh, owner field. Uh, so this is the dynamic choice uh, list of a resource object. So uh, the type uh, two types of uh, uh, choice lists we saw, right? We can we, one is uh, dynamic and one is fixed. So dynamic will hold the uh, values of another object. So here in this case, resource. So resource is nothing but it will hold the users uh, users in the system um, like who are the users so it will display all the users here so so we can select one of the user as a owner for this particular record ticket record okay um, and by default uh, we can see uh, who who is created this uh, um, uh, like created by field. So once we create one ticket record, so we can see who created that and then when created, when it is updated, when it is, uh, uh, who is updated this record. And then uh, the the uh, ID of a number, uh, like for reference, uh, uh, in most of the cases, we can see a reference number or a ticket number, ticket ID, right? So that is, that we can, um, for backend purpose, so this is the ID, and for frontend purpose, we can use this ticket number, and record number is again uh, uh, like system generated number. So in this record name, we can we can we can see uh, like we can generate in our own uh, way. We can generate as a um, uh, with, with our customized sequence. So now I want to. Store um, um, even more details, like um, I want to create a new fields. So if you see under standard uh, section, I can see only edit icon. So I'm, I I cannot see uh, uh, I cannot edit or I can I can't create a new field under standard because standard fields are can be created only at the time of uh, like object creation for custom objects for standard objects so the or oracle will introduce now here we can see under uh, we can see a create button under custom object so what i'll do i'll i'll, I'll create few fields related to ticket um, the first one i want um, Uh, passenger name. So I'll create uh, this field as a text because uh, um, user user can enter the pa passenger name. So and it is a text field. So I can set some uh, like 
how much uh, ma maximum uh, length of characters here uh, they can enter so by default it is 80 value so we can increase or decrease uh, up to 1500 uh, characters and after that uh, i need a ticket price so for that um i'll i'll choose i'll choose number or currency field um yeah i'll choose currency field because anyway it's an amount so i created ticket price and then uh, the minimum value so i can enter the range of a, a, a price so we'll set minimum value as uh, 1 to 1 the maximum value will be something like this 1 lakh or 10 lakhs so uh, in this field only the uh, so between this minimum value and maximum value uh, so only this uh, this amount can be stored in the in this field so and then if you want to default values uh, like uh, on creating a new ticket if you want to default the value if you want to default the ticket price as one we can we can just enter as one so that it will it will be uh, defaulted so uh, you can just remember uh, like these changes while while ex executing or while testing uh, this we can see this uh, behaviors uh, minimum value maximum value and and then default value what is the default value? all that we can observe yeah uh, after ticket price um, one more field we can create is uh, quantity or uh, number of tickets number of tickets uh, we are taking so so for that i'll i'll choose as a number okay i'll enter number of tickets So uh, now we have uh, like ticket price we have and then uh, number of tickets we have. So if we want to see uh, the total amount uh, uh, like after this, like suppose uh, ticket price, one ticket price is um, uh, some 100, 100 rupees. And then uh, if, 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 they, they, if they took two, so it should display somehow uh, 2 into 20, uh, 2 into 100 that equal to 20 uh, 200 so for that we can use uh, formula field so earlier we discussed a formula field right so what it will do it will calculate uh, uh, it can calculate from different uh, for from other fields so now i have a uh, two fields i want the result based on those two fields so uh, what I'll do, I'll just um, use those fields here, and then I'll I'll, I'll calculate. Uh, I'll I'll do some mathematical operation, and then I'll show you, uh, and then I'll show the result in the formula field. And uh, so formula fields can be text or number or date. 
um so what i'll do i'll here uh, i'll select as a text only uh, i can select number also but i'll, I'll just keep it as it is so i'll so uh, i i'll create a, uh, another field as total price so we have a two two fields right um ticket price and total price so total price is um number of tickets into price ticket in number of tickets into ticket price and 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 it is depends on number of tickets right and then it depends on ticket price so i am selecting these two check boxes are or i'm selecting these two are dependent values because if i change number of tickets or ticket price so i should see the result of uh, total price immediately so for that reason i'm just uh, uh, i'm just selecting these check boxes and then i'll click next um this okay, some hard sticking okay uh, so here uh, we can enter the, uh, the the expression or the calculation we can do here so for that i'll write i'll simply write one uh, expression that is return return means uh, i want to return this particular value uh, so uh, so this is called a groovy uh, expression or groovy uh, expression palette so where we can uh, write groovy code here uh, so here we can see some other options like uh, um, like we can see the different functions available for uh, uh, based on the uh, like uh, type of uh, um, input or uh, different uh, different areas like the, the different functions available for text um, and then for number so what are uh, what all we can um, we can use uh, different functions we can use uh, mathematical uh, functions like some max min average count so this all this and all we can use and for re regarding date uh, so all of this we can use we'll go in detail in the coming topics on groovy uh, thing but for now what i'll do i'll just uh, uh, use two fields okay and then i'll just uh, multiply uh, those two fields so one is ticket price so he, um, if i go to fields and then here i can see the fields available in the object so currently i am in ticket object right so i can see all the fields in the ticket object so now i want to um, insert two fields um, like so to insert a new field we can simply go to uh, fx and then uh, if we if we go up we can see here uh, to um, uh, to insert i'll just create insert so the api name came here 
so we have a uh, two values right while creating feed so one we will give as a uh, display name so that is number of tickets so for back end purpose uh, it will it will it will just remove uh, spaces and then um, it will add underscore c at the end for for new newly created fields so we can either uh, copy from here then we can just paste or we can insert uh, using this fx option so another field i want is ticket price so the result i want is um, multiplication right so i'll i'll just do uh, i'll just use star here and then i'll multiply these two and then i'll submit so the result will be multiplication of number of tickets into ticket price so that that value should show in the ui no okay. so it seems i entered a wrong name okay so instead of ticket price i'll enter a uh, total price that's because uh total uh, ticket price is already taken so i'll enter as total price uh feed name must start with a letter so it seems some space so this is the api name right so it it shouldn't contain a space so i remove that also now it allow it uh now i can go and submit uh so for now that's all i want to uh, uh that's all i want to create a uh, ticket record so these are the fields currently available um, passenger name um, total price and ticket price so after creating fields um, okay we'll see few few more fields like uh, currently we, till now we saw what uh, like text field number field and then uh, and then formula field we saw um and then uh, the another type of field we can create is a fixed choice so I'll select as fixed choice uh, so passenger type passenger passenger type passenger type should be something like um Oh. So, uh, Uh, so since it is a list of values right so we need to create a lookup type so lookup type will hold few values uh, like uh, in this particular case it will store the uh, passenger type values so we can enter uh, um uh, like um um discount senior citizen
um so uh, like we can enter as a senior citizen and then general um so like that we can add so lookup uh, code should be uh, like uh, in in lookup type uh, code should be in capital letters but in lookup uh, in lookup codes the codes can be uh, like uh, capital letters or uh, small letters but without spaces i'll just use underscore and then another one i will select as general if you want to give sequence we can give that sequence as well so the default type i'll i'll choose as general if uh, so that uh, while creating a record it will be defaulted to general if we want we can change to uh, um senior citizen also uh, while creating we can select whether it's a multi select or single select so in some scenarios we can we can we may have uh, to select multiple values so suppose uh, uh, which skills you have so there will be some 10 skills so out of that uh, like we can select two two three skills so that time we can choose multi multiple select choice list uh, and then we can define this value same way we did for a uh, single select so only this option will be uh, this option we can change uh the another type we can create is uh, date time uh or yeah date and uh, yeah, we will we'll create date time so the mm, we can we can put as start time uh we can put as journey start time or onboarding time onboarding time so we can select onboarding time and then i will save so this is a time date time field so i'll select uh, so we can select with the date and time yeah so we created all the fields uh, we required mostly so if you want we can create uh, different other fields also like long text mm -hmm. and then dynamic uh, so dynamic means uh, if i want to link uh, some some other object so uh, for example if 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 this passenger uh, is uh, related to some organization so what i'll do i'll, I'll just as a account i'll create a, a, as account uh, so account means say he is belong belonging to some other company so we have a delivered object right uh, account so i'll select that object as a, a list of values so whatever the accounts in my system will be uh, coming in this particular uh, list of values so i selected uh, i we can see many uh, like all the available objects here so and so in account object so what field i need to show in the field in the list of values so i'll select uh, organization name so that uh, he, he, we can know uh, which organization uh, he is belonging to okay. and here we can do some filters also like suppose uh, i want to see only uh, like um, uh, like india contact india organizations or something like that if I, if I, if i want that kind of a filter i can do here i can filter uh, i can show only those values 
but for now I'll, I'll not use any filter i'll just simply submit Yeah, account field is also created. So now I'll, I'll go to pages and uh, whatever we, we have these fields. So we can, uh, we can expose that in a uh, pages. So after just creating an object, so no pages will be uh, enabled. So uh, we should create this default pages uh, so that uh, we can see the object in the UI. Um, otherwise, if we don't create default pages, so the 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 object will not be visible uh, to the UI. So for that, I'm just creating default page. Okay. Uh, after creating this uh, application pages, so uh, so we can see different pages: landing page layouts, creation page layouts, and then detail page layouts. So landing page is nothing but uh, once we uh, navigate to the uh, application. Uh, maybe I'll show you. Uh, so what is called navigation um, landing page and what is creation page. So now, now first I need to set my object is listed or not. So usually the custom objects will be visible under uh, other objects, other, other folder. So yeah, my tickets object is available. So if it is not visible, so one thing we should uh, check is, uh, the, for this particular object, for this particular user, uh, access or uh, for creating or for re, uh, for viewing, for uh, deleting or for updating access is provided or not. So, so that we can check and then uh, we should also check whether uh, create default pages is, cre uh, is selected or not, um, like after creating the object. So then only this object will be visible here. So I'll, I'll just click on that my object. So I'll be navigating to the object. So um, uh, meanwhile, uh, we'll 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 configure this uh, creation page layouts. So I'll click on this creation page. Um, so I'll add few fields. So, okay. Yeah. So this is called nav, uh, the landing page. Once I click, uh, uh, the tickets, whatever the page I'll, I'll see that is called landing page. So currently you can see only ticket number last updated date created by the owner. So only these four fields are available in the landing page. So we can add few more fields here. And then if we click on create. So the creation page will also uh, will have only few fields. Like if you see ticket number and then owner, only these two fields are, we have. Uh, so what we'll do uh, in the creation page layout, we have only ticket number and owner, right? So with what we'll do, we'll, we'll add all, all the fields available here. Or we, for now, uh, for time saving, I'll just add all, I'll just save. Or, uh, or we'll remove unwanted fields like um, uh, last updated by created by and then creation date created by owner can be found last updated by so record number.
So if you want to uh, rearrange this uh, uh, fields, I can just uh, use these buttons. I can rearrange number of tickets, ticket price, and total price. Like that, it will display. So my creation page customization is done. And then I'll go to uh, detail page. So detail page is nothing but after creating a, a record. Um, yeah, now immediately I can see the change here. So the first field is owner. Uh, that is whoever is creating this record will be the owner. And ticket number, so this is auto generated. So we don't need to enter any value here. And what we can select in this DCL field is the accounts in the system. So for that, I'll go to here and then I'll set uh, for some, uh, I'll select this particular account. So I'm, so I am, I'm, I'm assuming. So this person is belongs to this, uh, uh, account. Um, so I'll enter my name as a passenger. And I'll select, so you can see, or you can observe the default type, which we have chosen as a gender. So it defaulted. And, uh, if we want, we can select the other value. So for now I'm selecting as general. And also we can see uh, ticket price is, uh, defaulted to one because we set one to some um, 10 lakhs. So now I'll try to enter, uh, and we have also put that value, uh, range, right? So I'll try to enter zero here. It will throw some error. So value must be uh, between this value, these two values. So we can enter other amount like higher amount, but um, okay, some error is coming. It's fine. We'll check that. Um, and the default currency we can see here. Uh, so which currency it is the amount entered here, uh, is which currency so that we can, uh, we can select here and also we can select the onboarding date. So we'll select tomorrow's date. Uh, I'm I'll, I'll enter as, uh, three tickets. So if, if you observe the price is automatically calculated. 3 into 100, that is 300. So now I'll, I'll save and continue to create this record. So we can also notice uh, in the in the in the next page that is ticket number is auto generated. So if I create one more ticket, I'll see TN uh, 00002. So currently here I, I can't uh, see the other information, right? So for that, what I'll do, I'll, I'll go and I'll add other fields. Yeah, uh, it is done. So we'll just cancel and then I'll refresh this page. And now I'll open the existing or created card. I can see all the other values here. So now, uh, the, the, uh, the formula field behavior is like, uh, because, uh, the total price is depending on price and number of tickets, right? So if I increase uh, this value. So we can notice that uh, the total price is automatically changing. And even here, if I increase the um, price to, to 200 or 120. So what I can see the changes, uh, I can see the change immediately. So total price, we don't need to enter. So it will calculate automatically by system. And then I can save this record after this. Um, 
so this is about pages um, different pages like um, uh, so if you want to add uh, some fields in landing page we can we can we can even do the same thing like um, let it here so i want to show account and passenger name total the total price i want to show um, i want to display this last updated date in the at the end so this is called we can just directly move to the top and this button is called we can just uh, move to the bottom of the list i'll save here now i'll refresh so currently we can see four fields now i can see the uh, added fields like account passenger name and total price last update so we don't need to uh, so if i want to check the total price for this ticket i don't want to go into the record and then see the price total price so because of this landing page i can just simply see here the total uh, price so if i want uh, i can create even more records uh, using the same so uh, yeah that is all about uh, today's session so any questions <laughs>